So coming back from those disappointing Travis's, these are a nice little pick me up. What is up everybody? My name is Danny, welcome back to the Sneaker Circle. And in today's video, I am gonna be reviewing the latest collaboration between Nike SB, Supreme, and in this case, Ram LZ. So quick shout out to my boy Nate. He was able to secure these for me on release day. I went for the lows, which was mission impossible for me, but he was able to secure highs. He didn't want them and you know, I asked, he said, yeah, yo, have some good people in your life and remember to always pay them back. So in today's video, we are gonna go over, honestly, this banger of a sneaker from Nike. So let me get these out the box and let's just get straight into it. All right, now that these are out of the box, now they're on the table to review, let's talk about how they released. So these released exclusively on Supreme at the beginning of September. Crazy nice, honestly. It was a quick release. I wasn't really too confident in Shopify. Even though I didn't hit, I saw a lot of people hit. So that's always good. I was expecting kind of like a, a play. You know how Union did the whole like password thing, like add this to your cart if you're a bot. And I've been seeing them do it on a couple of Nike SB releases as well. So props to this. I don't think these are gonna get a sneakers release because I haven't seen anything in the schedule. Maybe it's like one of those shipments that have been stolen. I don't know, there's crazy things happening in, in Nike's headquarters right now. They, they gotta get that resolved. So we're officially in a new era of Nike SB. You can always tell by the box itself. We had rainbow boxes before. Now it's like this silver with like a cream. I really like the box. I honestly like the box. This isn't the first pair to have these. I think um, Crenshaw's, I think Udo's, all of those have them. I don't specifically know which is the first one to have it or if it's been around for like the majority this year. Nike SB has been on a rampage and dropping amazing shoes this year. So let's get straight into it. Um, if you wanna see label, here's a quick shot of that. For those that need it. Little Supreme boxes on the, on the tissue paper as well. That's a nice touch. Other than that, nothing special. Getting straight into the sneakers, they are a pretty crazy sneaker to look at. Now, I honestly liked these so much because the canvas panel, the paintings themselves, it really reminds me of Paris SB Lowe's from the City series. And those are like the grail of grails. So if you're telling me I have a chance to buy something that kind of reminds me of them for retail at $170, I'm gonna take it. I'm 100% take it. And I'm not disappointed in them either. So for those of you who do not know, Rem LZ is an artist. He's a visual artist, a painter. He's even a musician. He does a lot of graffiti and you can kind of tell on the panels themselves. He did pass away in 2010, but this isn't like a new collaboration with Supreme. They've been doing it since the early 2000s. So they've been collaborating with him, his likeness, everything along those lines. And they have some pretty cool pieces like Gore-Tex jackets, waterproof jackets with like his graffiti strewn around the same graffiti you see here. Leading straight into it, um, you do get his artwork throughout the entire upper of the sneaker. So you have like portraits right here. This is actually a painting of Rembrandt right there. And I think, I remember reading somewhere that something Ramel Z really liked doing is he liked referencing old masters. So you think Van Gogh, you think people along those lines where their art is legendary. And I guess he really liked referencing those figureheads themselves. Very apparent with this. And each panel is slightly different. I think it's not exclusive to each pair of the way Paris's are. So like the right shoe will always have these panels on them, like it's calculated versus the left panel having slightly different panels, slightly different pieces of art. Probably just inversed because, no, nah, it's not inversed. You look here, there's Rembrandt on the inside and the outside here. And then these monkey faces, I'm not too sure whose art it is or if it's his specific art. It really reminds me of something Warhol would do, but I'm not like, you know, I'm not too sure. I'm not confident in that. So the entire upper is canvas. It's pretty nice. You do have suede accents here and yo, I must admit the suede on these is crazy. It's probably the softest suede we've gotten from Nike in general in a really long time. This is the way I wanted um, Amonieres to feel last year. Even lobsters realistically aren't this soft, but I think those are just two new buck shoes and I'm making like a, a poor comparison. Um, I'm gonna actually unlace this right here. Yeah, this isn't the one with the extra laces. 
So cool little detail lacelets right there say world and the other one says famous. Taking this off, I wanna see the full piece of art. So yeah, detachable, I think most Nike SB highs are. You get that little canvas piece. It's honestly such a cool sneaker. Getting close up right here, you do see Supreme Lace Locks. I'm a big fan of the gum sole on this pair specifically. Like I like the way it looks on this clearer beige pair, but on the low tops with the black in the canvas, it just doesn't look as good. Like it's still a great shoe, but I do think the highs are a better colorway than the lows are. So on the inside you do get, it's pretty padded. Yeah, pretty padded. Nice little support there, but it is a Nike SB, so that was to be expected. On the inside, you get what Nike and Supreme do all the time, or just Supreme in general. You get that red sole with like half of the preem and the other one's the sub. Cool little detail they added here. I don't know if the lows have it or if the blazers from last year have it, but right here on the tongue, it's kind of hard to see because it's white on white, but you do have Nike SB and then right under it, you have Supreme. I am just a big fan of this whole collaboration. This is probably one of the better pickups I've had this year. Last little look around, crazy soft suede. And I'm just gonna be quiet for this next part. And I'm just gonna show you like around both shoes cause it's just like an art experience, you feel me? Go to the next one. We can start this one off with this world famous tag. And I think it just solidifies what I mean by like Nike SB has had a great year. We've had Haritos, Yudos, um, even Crenshaws are like really nice when you really look at them. These Supremes, I feel like even the GRs, like the black gums, everything that's been releasing through Nike SB has been pretty nice. One thing I have been noticing is that the Nike SBs have been fitting a lot, like they're tighter now. And it's probably, it's actually a big problem I have with the Huff Lows. They're just so snug. I really wish I would have gone 11. Um, I'm gonna throw these on feet and if they fit any different from regular Nike SBs, I will you know, I'll throw a comment in there or something at, towards the end of the on foot. If not, just assume they fit like every other Nike SB high and let's just get straight into that video. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for spending some time with me. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one and let's just enjoy these on feet. <laughs>